Welcome to the weekly update. This is Chuck Mayer welcoming you to another segment. We'll be going through the store in just a couple minutes to look at everything new that came in. But for right now, I want to bring your attention to the 90 gallon tank. You've got one week to sign up for the giveaway. I think there's about seven, maybe 750 entries. So not a lot of entries for a free tank. Now this is a 90 gallon either drilled or undrilled that we'll be giving away Thursday, I think next week is the end of the month, something like that. So it's, you got basically a week left. If you haven't entered into the contest, please do that. It will be to your benefit. And let's see what else we got. So that is about it. Let's go look at the fish and some of the other things that have come in this week. One of the things that we have back in stock are bio pellets. Uh, these are the bio pellets that you were used to a long time ago. These are the ones that you can just put in a bag. You do not need a reactor for them and they will not turn your sump orange like the last ones did. So they're back in stock. We've got them for high nitrates, for nitrates period. This is what you want. You mentioned the, the 90 gallon drill types again. The, uh, uh, what is the price? What is the price? Is that right? How much are they? $2.99. That's the 90 drill. The 90 drill is $2.99 and I have 299 of them. Is that right? No. If Guy was doing the ordering, it's probably close. It's probably why they're $2.99. So I have a 90 gallon drilled with overflow. With overflow parts, two hundred ninety-nine dollars. You said you have a ninety-gallon drill. Okay. You just told us you had two hundred ninety-nine of them, and you said you had a, which means one. How many do I have, Gracie? I don't know which one. I'm pretty sure you have one. Which one? As I pointed out this morning, she is only happy when she's being bad. Yeah. Oh, did something just happen again? I was just holding this up behind your head. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go into fr fr blah, 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 blah. let's go into fresh water right now. So if you want a really, really cool fish that we don't always have in all the time, the electric blue Jack Dempsey might be for you. Now these are not like the typical Jack Dempseys that are really, really mean. They do need to be kept in with fish that are more, I guess, a little bit larger, if you will. But these are a more timid, more relaxed type of Jack Dempsey, and man, are they gorgeous. Something else I don't have in all the time are dwarf Mexican crayfish. These are really cool crayfish that don't get very large, so they would go better with smaller fish. Crayfish are fantastic scavengers. They're fantastic for cleaning up the bottom of the tank of any, any leftover types of food or anything that's uneaten. Um, I won't go so far as to say they'll take care of waste, but they are great to have. They're a good conversation piece, something to have that's a little different moving along the bottom. Dwarf Mexican crayfish look awesome and I've got them this week. Most people that buy electric blue Jack Dempsey's you never see again because people love them so much they keep them for the life of the fish and it's very very rare they get brought in or we get any of them back. However, this week we got one back. I've got a large electric blue Jack Dempsey, oh, only one, but I've got one. So for all the people that come in, look at the big show tank at the front of the store and want to buy those electric blue Jack Dempsey's out, you've got a chance. I know you guys might get tired of seeing them every now and again, but I can't say enough about the clown loach, especially when I have them. Whenever we get clown loaches, they go pr pretty quick, and there's certain times of the year we can't get them at all. And now, while availability of a lot of freshwater fish is very, very low uh, from all the distributors, we've got very healthy, very nice looking clown loaches right now. If you want a color pop that goes in almost any type of community tank for freshwater, it's hard to beat a clown loach. Okay, so the red dragon flower horn. There's not a lot of fish meaner than a flower horn, but there are also not many fish that are as pretty as a flower horn. And this guy hasn't even started to show off the, the color ability or the color expansion that he will actually have the bigger that he gets. Beautiful fish. It is a one tank only type fish, but the red dragon flower horn is a showpiece. So if you have that one tank that's been sitting around and maybe it's not your main tank, but you want something that you'll never get tired of seeing, this is a cool fish and it might be the fish for you. Okay, so how about some small black ruby tiger barbs? These are really cool. Now tiger barbs can be a little bit thin nippers, but these are great, they're small. And if you've got just a new tank starting off, these would be a great first fish. 
Okay, so just because we have been so well focused on koi this year, maybe even more so than in previous years, I want to bring your attention to these Japanese A-grade koi that we have. A lot of them are kind of of the Showa Sanke uh, variety. That's the black, the, the orange, and the white. These grow into beautiful fish. These are the Japanese A-grade koi. So these are koi which will become better, Nishigagoi. They are uh, fish with slightly different head shapes. Uh, as you'll notice, the Japanese variants from the American bred ones. Uh, and this is not something that we have very often, so these are very cool. Moving to the left now, uh, I want to show you just the all golds um, and the blacks. The blacks are considered good luck. If you've never watched me talk about it in videos, it is considered good luck to have a black koi in your pond. So if you need a little luck or you need a little luck for your pond, these might be the koi for you. Moving again to the left, we have the Yamabuki Ogons, which are personally some of my favorite. As the metallic sheen on these fish, you can see from outer space. <laughs> they absolutely light up the surface when they hit the top of your pond. They are extremely beautiful. Uh, they are extremely attractive fish as they get bigger and absolutely some of my favorite koi. Now, we're starting to move down. Uh, we've got just some regular comets. If you don't want to spend the money for koi, pool comets are the way to go. And they basically have koi-like colors. Uh, they will get big, but they are nowhere near the expense or of the same show quality. Moving again to the right, the Japanese A-grade koi. You can see some more. There are some kohakus in there, which are just the orange and whites, some that I really, really love. Uh, and some slightly larger versions of what you were just looking at. And moving again to the right, we have some small butterfly koi uh, in all colors. It looks like we have a good many shishui in there, which are the blue variants. You can kind of see a gray sheen on these as they're young. This was, will develop into more of a blue pattern the older that they get. Uh, and they are really showy as well. You want a freshwater fish that looks like a shark? The bala shark might be for you. The bala shark is actually part of the catfish family. It is not a true shark at all. Uh, but it is a really cool fish. Uh, you can get them to school in the tanks. They typically get fairly large, not shark large, but large. And you're typically going to want to put them in with things that are a little bit more aggressive, not full on aggressive, but things that are a little bit nippy, what I would call semi aggressive. I've got them very young right now, which is a good time to get them started in a tank. Usually they come in a bit larger to a much larger. So this is a perfect time if you ever wanted to try a tiger barb. Okay, so these are the Von Rio Tetras. Really cool community fish. A uh, lot of color toward the back. Beautiful, looks like they just lit the backs on fire. This is a great fish to have school. Looks really good with neons or any other very, very colorful fish. Uh, strongly recommend it if you are in the market for a cool new community fish. Okay, so if you've ever wanted a puffer fish or you've ever wanted some entertainment, set up a brackish tank. Yes, these are brackish, which basically means they're half salt, half fresh water. So they can't really go with anything, but they also don't need a whole lot. A uh, small tank, maybe 20 gallons or so, and you can have a really cool green spotted puffer and or puffers in a tank. A uh, lot of personality with these guys. Uh, they do not play well with others, but they are a really cool fish and I've got them right now. Remember those baby discus Kara was raising and we kept doing updates about? Well, they're not babies anymore. They are babies, but they're on their way. They finally started getting some size and they finally gotten out of the baby tank, out of the crib, and now they're into the big tank. So you definitely want to come by and see uh, the baby discus in here if you're in the market for a discus or you just want to see kind of how they've, how our first rearing of baby discus have become. These are it. Okay, so you guys call all the time about these. Where are your algae eating Amano shrimp? Here they are. Uh, we just got in a shipment and I've got the Amano shrimp in here right now. I can't say enough about how beneficial these are to planted tanks. I can't say enough how great they are to any type of community tank where there's not a fish big enough that will eat them. They pretty much eat algae constantly and if you have enough of them, they will be a fantastic algae eater and a great conversation piece. So for right now, for as long as they last, I've got a mono shrimp. Okay, so one fish in the wake of COVID 
that we have had a hard time getting a hold of is the Corydoras catfish. The Corydoras catfish make up a huge group of a huge variety of these little dwarf catfish. Uh, right now, I have the albinos, and they're still at the normal price. A lot of quarries right now you won't see around because you just can't get them at a price where we can sell them. That's that's fair enough. That doesn't look like we're trying to gouge or that anybody's trying to gouge you guys. So we haven't had a lot of quarries right now, all that to say. However, we've got these right now. Uh, I've also got paleotis as well. But these little albinos are fantastic. They make a little pop just because they are albino in a tank. They're very compatible and fantastic cleaners. Okay, so it's the end of Wednesday here at Fishy Business and the saltwater fish for the week have just arrived. So we're going to look at them as they're going out, which is not my preferable way of showing them, but at least you'll get a chance to see them and then look for maybe better pictures on Facebook. But let's start with Gracie and her pink pails, which was what we'll call this segment. Pink pail number one. We have what looks to be a clown trigger, um, definitely some antheus, and, and I don't know. It looks like a tang. It looks like a tang. It's a, it's a um, to mini tang. So that's what we have in pail number one. Pail number two, we have a super gorgeous emperor angel in the dwarf colors, but in a large size. This doesn't happen all the time. God, look at those, look at those colors shining off the pink. A coral beauty, which we have not had in forever. A fox face. So we're talking super hardy and what looks like a baby dog face puffer, or at the very least, a puffer of some sort. Moving right along, we have another coral beauty. Geez, we need that. Sailfin tang, looks like a naso tang, and two more antheas, very beautiful. Right along here, we have a fox face, a naso tang, looks like another fox face, and a sailfin tang. And moving right along, we have a tang I haven't identified yet because it's still stressing a little bit, a Melanurus Ras, a Toby Puffer, and another Coral Beauty. Yes, we need Coral Beauties. So that's the first part of what's been opened, and that's what's yet to come. So watch Facebook for the updates, and we'll get you squared away with some more salt water. Hang on one second. So maybe you need a very rare well, and beautiful angelfish. A regal angelfish might be for you. A finicky fish, to say the least, not the easiest fish to keep, but gorgeous. So if you want a fish with some real bones on it, this is a good one, the large regal angel fish we got in. It's hard to beat a hepatis tang for color, for beauty. Uh, the, the regal blue tang is the way to go. You will not see another kind of blue fish like it. These that came in this week have fantastic weight to them. Uh, again, a lot of times, especially times like this where shipping fish is more difficult because of airline uh, traffic and things like that. To get a set of uh, Regal Blue Tangs like we got today, these three, with all the weight on them, man, you can't beat it. So if you're in the market for one, these are definitely for you. Zebrasoma Favlesens, the uh, yellow tang. Uh, beautiful Hawaiian fish. Haven't been able to get them in mass like we used to just because of regulations and because of flights and things like that. But right now we have some yellow tangs and they look great. One thing that I want to mention this week above all is that in the last three or four months we have not had the greatest selection of corals like what we have right now. Uh, these fungias, these plate corals, the hammers, um, the ultra goniopora. I can't say I've seen a goniopora as pretty as this in this store. Uh, these long tentacle plates that you see, branching hammers, green bubbles, trachophilias, welsophilias, Torch corals, meat corals, uh, Lord Acans, uh, frog spawns, really, really exceptional group of corals are in right now. Okay, I know Kara mentioned it last week, but I want to make sure to mention it again. If you were in the market for a show tank from top to bottom, a turnkey aquarium that's very easy to sit in the, a small room of the house or even a main part of the house, these Red Sea tanks are sleek modern, up-to-date, absolutely fantastic looking aquariums if, on a grand scale. If you're in the market for something really cool, you ought to come check these out. 
Okay, so I know the summer is hot and the heat is on, but it's also hot here in fishy business and in a good way because we've got so much stuff coming. Uh, again, Gracie's still putting out stuff, so some of what we didn't get you will hopefully see here in the next day or two. Uh, there's a lot of tanks. Right now is a great time to buy tanks because we've got so many incentives from dealers and things like that. There's so many things in the store, period. is so much incentive that we're giving away a 90-gallon tank. So please don't forget to register for that. Definitely check out, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us to help you at Fishy Business SC. Go to the web, check out our website, fishybusinesssc.com. That's where you can register for all the different giveaways we have from month to month. And check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Fishy Business SC. God bless and take care of yourselves.